Ready? Yeah. Wait till your parents hear you use these words tonight. They're gonna think, do I have an adult sitting at our table? <laughs> Isn't this gonna be fun? I know. Okay, are you ready for the first word? Yes. Okay, I'm going to write it up here. Number one, everyone say number one. Number one. Say lumbered. Lumbered. Oh my goodness, oh, lumbered. That's like when you're moving slowly <laughs> back and forth. Oh, and you know what? Can I just point something out to you? Listen carefully. Did you know, oh, and do you see how everybody has their hands in their lap and their eyes are looking straight up here? When I'm giving you a word and we're learning a word, how do grown-ups, because these are grown-up words, how do grown-ups learn the words? Do they go like this? Or do they go moving slowly back and forth? Do they try to remember the word? What do they do? What's your name? Tori's like, mm -hmm. Tori. Oh, excellent. Okay, are you ready? Everyone say lumbered. Lumbered. What does it mean? Does it mean to just sleep or moving slowly moving back and slowly. forth? Moving slowly. Go. Everyone say it for me. Ready? Go. Moving, moving slowly, slowly back and forth. Everyone again, say lumbered. Lumbered. What's it mean? Moving, moving slowly, slowly back and forth. You know what? I'm thinking of an animal that could be really skinny that moves slowly back and forth, or would it be kind of big and wide and fat? <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to get somebody. Um, tell me an animal that would be big and, and that could lumber. Would it be an ant or an elephant? An elephant. Why? Because is an elephant skinny or is it kind of big and wide? It's big. Oh my gosh. Should I do that? Should I make like an elephant? Is an elephant the only thing that lumbers? No. No. But I'll just put an elephant there so I can remember what it means. What does it mean? Does it mean to run or move slowly back and forth? Ready, everyone? Go. Moving slowly back and forth. Do you see yours? You're like this, moving slowly back and forth. That's what good learners do. Ready? Everyone say lumbered. Lumbered. What's it mean? Moving slowly back and forth. Okay, number two. You ready? Number two. Sparkle. When something sparkles, is it really dull and dirty or is it shiny? Shiny! Hold on. You know how we were doing a motion like moving slowly yeah. back and forth? Can we use that motion, sparkled, shiny? Can we do that? We can like do this. I love it. Ready, everyone? We say do. sparkled. Sparkle! Shiny. Shiny. So did it shine? Yeah! Okay, hold on. What's in the world that sparkles? Give me something that I can have. A pencil! From a diamond! Can I just stop? Can I just stop for a minute? I just pointed at one person, and everybody's just quietly listening while she tells me what sparkles, what to draw. That's me. Can you see how that works? No one's saying anything, because we know not to do that. A diamond? Uh, does a diamond sparkle? Yeah. Everyone go, great idea. Great idea. All right, let me put a diamond here and make it sparkle. All right, ready? And then we'll use the sparkles. Is that okay? All right, here we go. Ready, everyone go. Say lumber. What's it mean? Moving slowly back and forth. Say sparkle. Sparkle. What's it mean? Shiny. I love it. Okay, let's do our last one. Um, oh my three. goodness. This is such a good word. Everyone say number three. 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 Everyone say succulent. Succulent. Mm, when something's succulent, I always think of like meat. You know when you eat meat, you want it to be dry or juicy. Juicy. What do you think succulent means? Everybody. Juicy. Oh, what can I do for juicy? What motion? Juicy. Show me. Just show a motion. Oh, like you're wiping your face? Okay, ready? Everyone go. Ju say succulent. Succulent. Juicy. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to draw like a big piece of turkey, like a leg. Oh. And then I'll put like it's juicy. Is that okay? Yeah. Everyone go like this. Say succulent. Succulent. Juicy. All right, now I'm going to test you and see if you know the words. Sit up tall, legs crossed, hands in your lap. I'm going to have you act like adults now. Are you ready? First, I'm going to go in order, then I'll go out of order and see if you really know them. Here we go. Ready? Sit. Number one, say lumbered. Lumbered. What's it mean? Moving slowly back and forth. That was too fast. Okay. Number two, say sparkled. Sparkled. What's it mean? Shiny. All right, you're not going to get the last one. Say succulent. Succulent. What's it mean? Juicy. All right, I'm going out of order now. I'm making it tough. Here we go. Ready? Everyone say sparkled. Sparkled. What's it mean? Shiny. 
Say succulent. Succulent, Say lumber. Now we're ready for our next lesson, and this is probably my most favorite thing in the world. Could you please get your hands like this and go, from Hollywood! From Hollywood! It's movie script time! It's movie script time! Okay, everyone go like this, say, every movie, every movie. has a beginning, middle, end. Has a? Beginning, middle, end. Okay, I'm going to draw a movie script up here, okay? Now, when I draw this movie script, I'm going to put a line here and a line here. Now, we just said every movie has a beginning, middle, end. So what this, what's this box for? The beginning, what's this? Middle, and what's this? All right, are we ready? Okay, I'm going to have you act like you are Hollywood writers. So, we're gonna go to the beginning. Everyone say, beginning. Beginning. Look at your wrist like you're looking at a watch because this is what Hollywood writers do. And they are gonna go. When is the story happening? Go ahead and ask me. Okay, let me put a big sun up here. Put your sun up. Ready? And now we're going to say the story so far. Everyone say, one day. Ready? One day. Now be the Hollywood writers and go like this. Say, where is the story happening? Where is the story happening? Okay, so let me put some mountains here. Am I in the city or out in the country? Let's see, if I had the city, I'd have buildings. If I had the country, it's like mountains with trees. What's this? Is this the city or country? Country. Oh my gosh. Okay, so should we say country? Yeah. Okay, ready? Go. One day, out in the country. Or do you want to go out in the country? Out You want to do that? Okay, ready? Go. Hands up, go. One day, out in the country. Okay, everyone go like this, say, who's in your story? Who's in your story? back and forth. What does lumber mean? Moving slowly back and forth. He lumbered down a path. Could I say that? Yeah. Sun's up, go. One day out in the country, a big fat bear lumbered down a path. I'm going to have you say it on your own, movie stars. Hands up, go. One day out in the country, a big fat bear lumbered Okay, put your hands here for the beginning. And now we're going to go like this. Say, what happened next? What happened next? While he lumbered down the path. While he down the path. Okay, are you ready? Uh -huh. All right, now watch. He spotted something. Okay, so here's our bear. And then he spotted something. But he spotted it off in the distance. What is that bear doing? Well, you know what? I, should, I probably should have made the eyes a little better like this, huh? So everyone go like this, say, off in the distance. Off in the distance. He saw something jump out of the pond. Turn to, turn to the people next to you. What do you think he saw? What jumped? All right, eyes turn around here. Here we go. You ready? When it jumped out of the pond, it What is it, everybody? A fish. Okay, let's do it. Did you say it? Everyone go like this. Go like this if you said a fish. Be a fish. All right, eyes up here. Let's go back to the beginning of the story. Story. Ready? Go. One day out in the country, a big fat bear lumbered down a path. Ready? Everyone go. Off in the distance, he saw. I could say saw, or do you want to say spotted? Spotted. You want to say that? Okay, ready? Go. Ready? Oh, and look. 
your name? Henry, I gotta tell you something. You should hear this. Travis, he, because you were excited about the story, he was on his knees. And then his friend back here couldn't see. Travis, when I said, oh, could you sit down? Did you make a big deal about it or did you sit down nicely? Can we all say, great job, Travis. Great job, Travis. Thanks, Travis. All right, sun's in the air. Let's do it again. Ready, go. One day, out in the country, a big fat bear lumbered down the path. Ready? Everyone say, off in the distance. Go. Off in the distance, he spotted a fish that jumped out of the pond and sparkled like a diamond ring. Oh, that's good. Okay, ready? Everyone go to the middle. Go like this. Say, what happened at the end? After he saw the fish. After he saw the fish. What do you think he did? He ate it. He ate it. He ate the fish. Let's see if you're right. Have you heard this story before? Yes. <laughs> What kind of fish? Was it dry or was it juicy? It was juicy. Oh, I don't want to say juicy. What word can I use instead? Succulent. Succulent. All right, let's go back and read the whole. Ooh, how do I want to do this? What sound do you make when you eat the fish? <laughs> chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. One day, out in the country, a big fat bear. Lumber down the path. Ready? Off in the distance. Go. Off in the distance, he spotted a fish jump out of a pond and sparkle like a diamond ring. Ready? Everyone go chomp, chomp. Ready? Chomp, chomp. He ate the succulent fish. Now we're going to do something. Stand and put your hands on your side like movie stars. We're going to do a rehearsal of the movie. Could you please do the following? Put your hands up in the air like they're lights. And go like this, say lights. Lights. Camera. 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 Action. 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 Okay, ready? Sun's up, go. shoes on your foot. See how you're showing me you're ready? And then I'll hold on to that and then you're going to show me. Let's do our last thing. Ready? Go chomp chomp. Ready? Go. Chomp chomp. He ate the... Who do we want to say? Ate or gobbled? Gobbled. You want to do that? You want to do that? Okay, ready? Everyone say chomp chomp. Ready? Go. Chomp chomp. He gobbled down the succulent fish. Are we ready? We're going to now turn around. You were going to do lights, camera, action. Here we go. Ready, my friends? My friends, go. One day, out in the country, a big fat bear lumbered down the path. Ready? Everyone off in the distance, go. Off in the distance, he spotted a fish jump out of the water and sparkle like a diamond ring. Ready? Chomp, chomp, go. Chomp, chomp. He gobbled down the succulent fish. Could you please turn to the teachers? Put your hand on your belly, put your hand behind your back, and say, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.